and welcome to another Brett Plays video. As you can see, I'm taking out another twin otter. I say another because I've already done the one with the wheels. But this is the amphibian version. It does have wheels, uh, but can also land on water. I don't think this particular one has rudders though, uh, like uh, other FSX and uh, Microsoft 2020, uh, Flights in 2020, um, was the A5 icon that has a rudder that you can put down. This one requires you to use uh, either left or right engine and or your rudder to steer in the water. But I'm going to take off from the land and I'm going to go and land in the water and then take off again. I'm using the European Coastal Airlines livery as you can see. Now this does come in the same uh, Just Flight FSX uh, pack uh, as the landing uh, version. I figure this is such a nice aircraft. I'm give this a show off as well. Alright, if you haven't already seen my other um, uh, basically the ones with the wheels only okay thank you we'll move the VFR off the screen uh, this has been updated uh, you may need to configure some of your uh, flight controls if you wish to use the uh, what is it the uh, is it a Garmin whatever the LCD screen is here yeah it's Garmin GNS 530, well there you go, so if I were to put in direction, there we go, cool, and I can move that around manually because I've got buttons uh, pressed, okay, heading, alright, having a look outside, flight control, thank you, now, when I steer, the front wheels don't steer, but I have noticed that this does allow you to steer. Oh, there we go. The wheels do move once you're moving. But we're going to take a 20% flat and give this a quick takeoff. I can't imagine those front wheels are good for too much. And we are up. Now, landing gear up from here. I'll just poke out the front. Back on the go inside. Very nice. I'm not going to lower my, I'm uh, sorry, raise my clutch just yet. Go over the start parking here. And bring this into right between the two. Uh, Airports here, 34 right and 34 left, or I'm not sure what number they are this way, I don't think there's a name on this side, this is my side. And we'll bring it in on this nice calm water here. Right behind that uh, China shipping lane line, sorry, uh, that was there in my last flight, it hasn't moved. Down, thank you. Right, I think when we get down to a certain speed, you'll see that the back of the uh, floats will sink in. Maybe just on the last one. There's a way to slow right down. There we go. Let me hit a few waves. Right, prop pitch all the way down, and that actually stopped it. So, steering, you do see those wheels now moving because they're freewheeling it. Alright, let's give this a another take off. Oh, well, we're not breaking the surface at all. Got ourselves wedged on the shallow. Up the shop, yeah. Not actually move. And the 
dead stop. Okay, so flight model is not 100% until it comes onto the land. What I might do, pop that back up in the air. I don't think I've ever actually stopped 100% to test that. I'll give that another try down here. And now I can take off again. But when it comes to stopping, you need to slow down your... There we go, thank you. There seems to be some line here. Alright, let's see... Uh, wow, got a big wave there. Something to do with the modelling, I'd say. A little bit of a splash. Alright, let's land that again. Thank you, it's time to stay there. We're getting too much depth. Going into a headwind, I'd say, going and heading out to the water here. We are definitely dolphining it. Look at that. <laughs> right. How to ruin your plane. Alright, so if we keep moving. Yep, we can steer. You know what? Rather than out to the harbour there, which we probably were getting a huge headwind, we we'll take off here. Put the cockpit all the way up, thank you. There you go, you can see that for a And up again, right. So, full stop, didn't seem to have enough to break the uh, friction on the water. And I don't know if that's because this one's not a 110 model for Microsoft Flights in 2020, or it was uh, something to do with uh, being in next to the airport there. Certainly something I can give it a bit more of a go in the future. I was landing on uh, the water that was next to the airport add on. I don't know if that'd be any different. Try no flat. Definitely getting a bounce there. Alright, now we're falling into the water. <laughs> Alright, look, it's, it's a nice plane. Beautiful inside. Beautiful. Now, if we do stop, can we break free again? Have brakes on? Nothing happens? No, I don't think so. Pop all the way down, will Stop us from going forward. No, not really. So I, it may have actually been whatever uh, section of water I was in between uh, the airports. There we go. Now we seem to be a little deeper in the back there. Yeah, where the water washes over. Well, let's try it again. FSX in the Microsoft Flight Sim uh, and then previous ones, it has a lot of trouble once you stop completely. There's something that's not modelled there. Uh, look, beautiful aircraft. Maybe it's something I'll uh, work on and uh, get some other help from uh, the person who helped work getting this over. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't go to a full stop unless you're uh, potentially getting yourself back up onto the land which uh, I'm not so sure I can put my land gear down now. No, I cannot. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.